So you feel like that's a, that's a something that you were doing, like making music that wasn't really who you were. That didn't yeah, represent it you. was just the stuff that I heard and <laughs> heard in the music that I listened to growing up. You know, a lot of the the rap mm-hmm. rap scene. That's kind of what they were talking about. So I just that's kind of what came to my head whenever I was writing music. But now nah, I took a I learned I learned from that interview and just from the people I have around me, and I realized I need to really focus on speaking my truth and who I am and the mm. difficulties I've gone through in my life mm. and not just random sh- that I don't know anything about. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you suffer from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like, every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. Come on. Yo, what's poppin'? You know what time it is? Your boy, Mr. J Hill, J Hill Podcast. We in the building. Uh, special guest is here, uh, Lil' Man J. What camera do I look at? Which one you want to look at? <laughs> Any of them. I was just wondering. Yeah, you can look you at got 18 in here. <laughs> <laughs> this is your camera right here. Uh. But you can look at me. We men. We can talk to me. <clears throat> yeah, so I was, <laughs> yo, don't do that. So now nah, we talk about the uh, the Flacco sh- and um, I see. Sh- no, no, we're not about to go back there. Oh no, I thought that's what you were on. That's the type of you on. I'm not on that. Not me. You the one that brought it up. The no, f- bro, I brought the interview up. I said I. I seen it, the the thumbnail and it was intriguing because it said something about you being a culture vo- vulture. Okay. But I had to stop the damn interview because y'all start talking about you. Okay, it was like a thirty second segment. It wasn't. It was so really you watched the whole thing. Man. I tried to. Okay, then. And you I stopped was interested. It. No, I stopped you said, it. Oh, sh- it's her. Huh? No, bro. Anyway. Okay. Do you, anyway. The, the culture vulture thing. Do you get that a lot? Is that something that you get? Um. No. Are you white? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't I mean. I don't know. You gotta ask these questions nowadays, right? No. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Okay. Some people probably don't know. So do you, do you get that? Um. I would say not really. Honestly. Where did that come from? I uh, just feel like people are just trying to find something to hate about. You know what I mean? People always look for something to hate on people who's doing better than them. Mm. You know what I mean? So it's just something I don't really care to speak on. I just feel like it's a thing in the past. People want to say it. I know it's true, and I know what I'm doing, and that's not it. Wait, 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 wait. I must have touched on something that I didn't even know about. Because you, you said I don't want to speak on it, so clearly this had to be some some issue. I don't know, I'm asking. I'm curious. I, I have no clue. I, I'm really just stumbled into this. Yeah, well, I wouldn't say it's an issue. It's just like people try to shed light on it more than it needs, and I feel like shed light on what though? The fact of me being uh, the in the whole thing with Flacco, that whole thirty minutes where he was just pressing me about crazy. Sh- Can you I rem- remember? I stopped once y'all got to talk, so you might have to refresh my my, my mind or I don't think we give me hit. refresh it. Give me a hip. I'm, I'm, I'm curious for real. I'm, I'm Nothing you need to know about it for real. It's, 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 our, it's a thing of the past. So I'm assuming whatever happened, I'm going to go back and watch the whole thing mm, now. Yeah, you can what, watch what, the whole thing. Whatever happened, did that bring a lot of negative energy your way? Um, not, not, I wouldn't say it brought negative energy. I was I was just saying it. it's um a topic that I'm not too keen on speaking on. Mm. Just because I, I feel like I know my worth. And mm. that's whole culture vulture thing is not... Me. Mm. That's not what I'm trying to be. Because everyone in the comments was calling Flacco the culture vulture, brother interview calling him an asshole the way he handled the whole conversation. So mm. everyone watching the video, I think, saw it from a different perspective. Yeah, that's why I was, I was curious because, like, I mean, I don't know. Like, a culture vulture, like, okay, a white person, what, doing what black people do? Like, is that what we call a culture vulture? Is that what we call it? They was describing it as, like, Profiting off of what, like the black culture? I guess so. Okay, I, I mean, I, I guess like I, I'm trying to see um, the care in it because 
You went to I think you I heard you say somewhere when you went to school, you went to school with both black and white people. Yeah. Everybody. Right. You went to school with everybody. So if that's your culture, if that's how you if that's what you came up in, I mean I could see you adapting to like hip hop music. I don't like I don't I when I heard it, it sounded natural to me. It didn't sound like it was forced. And again, I don't know you. Like, so. Oh, sh my bad. That was loud. Uh, yeah. So, like, and I'm just getting when I when I first heard the music, I, well, the first thing I said was, bro, it threw me off, like, in a good way, though. I like yeah. the music. So when, when someone was to say, like, you're a culture vulture, I don't know. I couldn't. But yeah. it seemed like that's something that probably, like, hurt, though. No, it didn't hurt me. It was honestly, if I'm speaking honestly, just my team. Then, mm. then, weren't very happy with okay. how how much he was forcing that fact on me. I guess that's a great point. That's a great segue, though, because I'm pretty sure you you probably got a, another audience from that. I'm pre like a, a, another group of fans that started to like you from that. No, or maybe in yeah. I know what you mean. And I say that because like sometimes, and I'm glad Ryan is here. Sometimes like PR and like the team, they try to stop things from happening when really the that's natural. Those natural moments is what make us more in, what makes you more intriguing as an artist, as a person. Because yeah. now we're learning who you are. So I can see how like your team's like, ah, but I think it probably was better for you. What, what? Yeah. That's that's how I looked at it, you know. I like to look look at things on the bright side. I feel like it was just getting my truth out and letting everybody know like who I really am. Mm. I think it really was able to bring that out and kind of get that whole idea out of their head. Mm. And yeah. move away from that type of uh music, I guess, a little bit. Wait, so you moved away from that type of music? I'm just uh moving away from, you know, speaking what's not me in my music mm. stuff that I'm not about. So you feel like that's a, that's a, something that you were doing, like making music that wasn't really who you were? That didn't yeah, represent it you. was just the stuff that I heard and <laughs> heard in the music that I listened to growing up, you know, a lot of the, the rap, mm -hmm. rap scene. That's kind of what they were talking about. So I just, that's kind of what came to my head whenever I was writing music. But now nah, I took a, I learned, I learned from that interview and, just from the people I have around me, and I realize I need to really focus on speaking my truth and who I am and the mm. difficulties I've gone through in my life mm. and not just random sh that I don't know anything about. This is true. Man, that, that, I mean, now that you say it like that, that's real because, I mean, <clears throat> a lot of times people use the music for 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 other opportunities, right? So they, you might talk about some gangsta shit now and they want to like press you on some gangsta shit because that's what the music is about. Mm -hmm. So it can bring negative energy. I can see that. Yeah, 100%. And that's kind of, that's why, that's a, another big reason why I steered away from that is because I don't want to be in that type of lifestyle mm. because of the music, even though it's something I've never really been been through. Mm. Yeah. Man, that's, 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 that's great. When did you come to, that interview was when you made that realization? No, I feel like I was making that realization before that, but that, that interview put the stamp on it where it's like, all right, that's going, I'm done completely for sure. Mm. Because it's just like, if people, or people are that, like, worried about it, if you will, then I'll just move on. You, I'm so talking. upset at myself now because you make me feel so bad because I'm like, I should have finished the interview because like just hearing it right, like from you saying, I don't want that energy in my life. So I stopped making that type of music is understandable. That's one thing. Right. Mm -hmm. But when I'm hearing it because I didn't finish the interview, yeah. I'm looking at it like it seems like somebody bullied you, bullied you almost into a realization. And I don't like that part. That's corny to me. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan, if you text me, I don't have my phone. Oh, I was just, I didn't know. I don't know. Because you'd be like. Oh God! <laughs> what you just mean? No, 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 no! I didn't know. I didn't. That was me. My, my bad. Nah, but good. yes, that's what you see. What I'm saying because it seems like the realization. That's a real thing. It wasn't. Nah, like I said, it was. It definitely wasn't forced. Definitely, because I wouldn't let that happen from the person I am. Mm. But because it, it's it's been like the past year almost, I've been building relationships and close friends in the music industry that are telling me, yo, those exact things. Mm. So I was already, I was already pretty much apart from it. But I just haven't. I guess I didn't show it yet. Mm. So after that interview, I realized I needed to show it. 
Okay. Because I uh, I've been done stop talking about that stuff for a minute now. But what stuff exactly? Because yeah. I'm I'm getting to know you. Just just like um talking about I guess uh living in the streets. Okay. You know what I mean? Like having guns on me all the time and things of that sort. Just I'm just that's not me. I'm curious though. When you were making that music, did you almost feel f- like you had to? Force yourself to live that life because you're making the music? No. No, like I said, it was just the type of music I listened to. Is That's what they were. Majority of it was talking about. So that's just whenever I went to the studio, it was like, I guess, like, you know, on the way they listened to the music, just kind of like what was on my mind. is like what I was hearing. What I was hearing is what I was saying. <laughs> you good, bro? Yeah, it's just, you, you, you're right, right? Like, you're right, 100% right. And I'm not trying to cap over here because I got you as a guest. I'm me. I'm real. I don't give a f- I don't give a f- about none of y'all, but that's another thing. But I say to say, you that's hip hop though. Like, so if you go, if you watch an interview with um Hitmaker, right? AKA Lilberg, Lilberg, aka Hitmaker, he speaks on how he had a good foundation coming up and how like his parents were like, I don't want to say they had money, right? And he was listening to a bunch of hip hop. And like gangster music, and it kind of influenced him to want to be a gangster rapper, and it, it kind of made him like Tupac. Hmm? Yeah, I don't know if I would have said that if I was you, but <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's a great that's, that's a great example. Yeah, it's, yeah. So, but you you see that in hip hop a lot. So now I'm wondering, like, why why the frustration with you? Is it because you white? Uh, it has to be. Oh, like why the people are frustrated? About yeah, because it? it's like yeah, you say you have you didn't live that life, right? Yeah. But a lot of the artists that we see that go into to hip hop had a similar experience. Like they they didn't really live that life. They heard it, and the music influenced them to want to do something else. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, I feel like maybe maybe it comes down to race. Also, the fact that it's also something I never really portrayed on social media. Mm. Like you know, a lot of these artists. That talk about that stuff. I feel like you know you see videos of them with guns, okay. or, you know, whatever. And I never, I never portrayed that image nor. Okay, you know? it was kind of like you was living like a double life almost. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I can yeah, see that. I guess if people took the music that serious, but I guess yeah. it is art, so people Facts. do take it like that. Nah, no cap. And that's why I definitely have completely switched the way I'm talking my music. And what type of music you making now? Then I make, I make rap. And I make. I'm trying to experiment. Like I'm. I'm. I'm gonna make a country. Try to make a country song tonight. I've made. I've been working really towards like mainstream type of music, um, kind of like pop rap type of thing. You but just throwing me, cause I, the music I heard it was good. I'm like, why you want to? Why you want to go away from what worked? Cause I'm good. Oh, that's gonna sound cocky. I feel like I can. I can be. I'm really good. I could be really good in any genre. I feel like I have a my my voice. I've, with the experimenting I've done, I feel like I'm able to make good music in each genre. And if I can do that, why not? Because that's just taking it all in at once and just taking over. I mean, I guess. Yeah, I, I like you right. I, 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 so me, I mean, just I'd be like, like if, it, if it work, if it ain't broke, why fix it? I'm not fixing it. I'm just adding on to it. I like that. That's good. Yo, um, Ryan hit me about the interview, and I was kind of hesitant at first. My like, bro, what's the guy's story? And he started to tell me, and that's why I really wanted to have you on, because you do have a story. And it's more than just the followers. It's more than just the likes and the music that you make. It's about who you are, though, right? Mm-hmm. And um, I wanted to touch on this. We could have touched on this earlier, but it happens for a reason. Mm-hmm. You live with four, you don't call them disabilities, Right. Yeah, nah, just medical conditions, I guess. Yeah, yeah. But I let's talk about that for a second. Yeah, so I was for, born with uh, four medical conditions: scoliosis, cleft palate, um, bilateral club foot, and distal arthrogryposis. Mm. And so, basically, I have bilateral club foot. So, like, say this is a foot, you know, ankle, leg. This is the foot. So my foot was bent up to my ankle like that. Mm. So whenever, that's how I was born. So I put a, they put a cast on my foot. I had to wear a cast for the first few years of my life 
to straighten out my foot. And I had plates and screws in my ankles to correct it as well in both feet. And then I had my last surgery on that in seventh grade. And now one leg is longer than the other, but it doesn't really affect my day-to-day life. You know, I just walk a little different, if you will. But um, so it uh, it doesn't affect me. And I don't really care how I walk. It's not going to affect how I go about my day-to-day life. So I'm not tripping. And then the uh, cleft palate, it, I didn't. I was born without a hard and soft palate in the top of my mouth. You know how you touch the top of your mouth with your tongue? It's like that hard gum right there. Mm. I was born without that and then the soft palate. And um, that whenever I whenever that happened, they were I had a uh, way to fix it, so it was just easy. That got fixed immediately. But I was blessed. A lot of people have like um, the mark. Yeah, the mark right here on their lip, but. Uh, I'm not sure why I don't, but I said I'm blessed to not have that. You know what I mean? And then um, what else I said? Oh, this is where I got posted. So the biggest thing really with that is just like my I don't have joints in my fingers, so I can't bend my fingers like most people. I can't make a full fist. And then um, what was the other one? Oh, scoliosis. So my kind, everybody knows scoliosis, but my spine is curved, uh, pretty pretty substantial curve. Um, but it doesn't affect my life as of right now. Mm. Um, but I think it will later on. But when you say you think it will, is this something that the doctors already said or? Uh, I, I'm not sure, but I just know, I mean, with people who have had scoliosis and just how it normally goes. How does it normally go? You just, I think like by over, over, I mean, it depends how, how you use your back and what the strain you put on your back, but you know. As you get older, as you get into your uh, older years of your life, you know, start getting a hunchback a little bit, having to walk with a cane, things like that. So like I said, um, I, I'll probably try my best to prevent that from happening. I don't know how that will go, but like I said, it's not going to happen for a minute. So just perform my best while I can. Yo, <clears throat> you just named four different things. Mm-hmm. With one of those things, it could be hard to just function in everyday life, right, um, um, amongst people. Because people are ignorant. People are, like, they're mean, right? Mm-hmm. So you having four, how was that growing up? Like, was what? when did you, uh, I guess, understand understood, understand that you had um, medical conditions? Um, It was, like, ninth, 10th grade high school where people started, like, making fun of the way I walked. Or, um, you know, the fingers thing never was like a problem there. Maybe make fun of me for not being able to fight or whatever. But so just just getting made fun of in that aspect is, I guess, whenever I started to realize it, because people started to point it out in public a little bit. But um, so never it kind of made me feel some type of way, you know, um, maybe a a little depressed uh, in my high school years um, from that. But now just realize what's more important and focusing up on my career and what I want for my life and don't let other people stop me from doing that or judge judge who I'm, I am. I'm curious like how did that make the relationship with your parents though because a lot of times as kids we don't really understand and we blame we want to look for someone or something to blame it on and a lot of times our parents get that blame like how was the relationship with your parents? Um, great I feel like I never, never had any blame on them or anything like that because, like I said, I mean, at the end of the day, there's nothing I could do about it. There's nothing they could do about it. You know what I mean? It's just one of those things that happens to every few people, and if it does, you can choose how you how you go through life with it. If you want to be depressed or blame people about it through your whole life, do what you want to do, but um, I'm not that type of person. I'll mm. focus on what I need to still be a normal human being. But I feel like it has to be some type of, like, you have to realize that. Like, you have to come to a point where you understand that and then start living your life like that. When was that for you? Um, Honestly, I, I, I would say I never really felt that type of way about it. You know what I mean? I feel like it was just, I guess, the type of person I am. Mm. I just never gave too much of a um care. Never? Yeah, because I guess I was just... Just especially like just growing up with it my whole life, you know, being a little different my whole life. It's just like you kind of adapt to it mm. and you get to the point where 
you've heard all the comments, you heard all this, you heard all that. So it's like, I don't care. Yo, you know it's Built crazy. tough skin, I guess. Nah, facts. And indeed, like, and, and you are blessed, extremely blessed. And it's crazy because, like, it shows how much people who don't who aren't born with these conditions or medical conditions take for advantage, like for granted. Some mm-hmm. people probably take for granted that they can't ball their, their fists up. Mm-hmm. They take for granted that they can walk straight, right? Yeah. Like, and I feel like you are walking testimony to like that, bro. No matter what happens, that you can be successful. Exactly. That's what I. That's kind of like what I'm trying to um, show these, I guess people growing up and kind of dealing with the same thing is like yeah exactly you know like no matter what you go through what people say to you what people say about you like focus on yourself mm. you know what's most important and work towards that mm. what's become what's, better than the people who don't like you or hate on you for no reason now i know you wasn't a person that dwelled on it right yeah but if it was one thing that bothers you the most for somebody that it might be bothering them as well what was it that that bothered you the most um Honestly, the way I walk, because I feel like that's something, like, everybody sees, if mm. you will. You know what I mean? Like, you know, just walking in public, everybody walks for the most part. So it's like walking to the grocery store. You know, every, you walk on a day-to-day basis. So it's like everybody can see that. And you're out in public walking, everybody can see that. So that was probably the one I actually got, like I said, because my one foot's longer than my other one. So I got a little, they're like little sole things. Mm. And they add, you know, put them in your shoe and they add like a little inch or whatever. So I put that in my my right shoe to make it level out a little bit. Mm. So, so that's something that still probably like bother you to this day. Mm, I would say, I would say nowadays, not really, because I feel like it adds just to my uniqueness. You know what I mean? It makes me, separates me from the rest a little bit. Mm. You know what I mean? Like. What artist you see walking with a wobble looking, you know what I mean? Mm. So I feel like it just makes me a little different. That all of that though, right? What we just talked about. Mm. Does it make the success and what you're doing feel that much more special? It has to. Um, yeah. I, I think I think it definitely does because it's just showing that exactly what I'm trying to prove these people that you can't do anything Mm. and it just i'm a walking testimony like you said that's a fact what about it's funny because like you had to have like like we all got naysayers and haters right Mm -hmm. but for you it's different because like people really probably would make fun of you and talk about you are you starting are you seeing are you starting to see some of them people who the same people that made fun of you and said you what you couldn't do and laughed at you kind of like spin the bin when they see you being successful a hundred percent especially in like um Especially people from high school hit me back, you know yeah. what I mean, trying to talk to me. Or, like, um, like even people just straight up say it. Like, in my comments, I see some every now and then. They're like, yeah, I used to, I can't lie, bro, I used to hate on you, but now I'm a fan. Like, mm. they just straight up say it in the comments. So, I feel like definitely. Mm. What do you think the hardest part of, like, all of the <clears throat> successes is for you? Um, I feel like for me, especially since I'm doing everything independent, just having all that, all the different voices in my head and having to do everything and most of the time set up everything myself and mm. come up with the content myself and write the music myself. So, you know, I mean, not having anybody kind of setting things up for me and, you know, you can do do this social media post today. You know what I mean? Um, kind of burns out my creativity quickly. But mm. I felt like now I'm starting to build a team and it's starting to take off that stress. Um, but that's probably one of the biggest ones I faced over the past year. Now it's starting to go away. Because like I said, I've been building my team. Got Ryan now setting up a lot of stuff. Shout out Ryan, man. Best PR in the game. Carter, videographer. Amazing. We've been working together for six months. So mm. and I got my manager, Jeff. How, how much time are you putting into like creating content? Because I feel like your visuals, like I said, when I seen the visuals, the music was good for sure. But the visual right at them, like, this is good, too. How mm-hmm. much time are you putting into to your visuals on TikTok, Instagram, Content, all across the like board? my number one. I mean, that's how I feel like any artist nowadays needs needs content to be able to make a name for themselves in the music industry. And so I feel like content's number one priority, especially for me, with that's how I gained a fan base. Mm. So that's what they look for. So content for me is, like, 
my number one priority. Takes up a lot of my days, 60, 70% of my work. So let me, let's paint a picture. So for podcasting, right, if I had to tell people the top five things in the order of like most important to least, mm. I would say the idea, which is the content, the, the what you want to talk about, right? The what, most important, the content itself. I would say audio. Second, well, finding the person no, first. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Oh, I'm, okay. Cause I'm gonna ask you a question. I'm curious. So <clears throat> I'm just so you could so you can follow me. So for me, it's the idea of the content that you want to make, right? And of mm-hmm. course the person, the personality, right? We can mm-hmm. put that in one. Mm-hmm. The idea and the person behind the, the idea, right? Okay. The audio is the second most important thing when it comes to uh video content or podcasting, right? Uh-huh. The third most important thing is lighting, right? So we talk about video content. And I ain't even get to the, the camera yet. So <laughs> most important is the person and the and the idea, the audio, the lighting. Then I would say what you shooting on, right? Mm-hmm. It, and that could be an iPhone if you got good lighting and good audio, right? 100%. I think that's top four. So when it comes to making content for you or being an artist, right? What would you say is the top five most important things from most important to least important? To like function my day to day life or making content? Making content. Oh, uh, for me, making content, like you said, starts with the idea. Okay. Yeah, it starts with the idea. Um, and then. I like to write a script sometimes, so kind of getting the plan, get the idea, then get the plan for it laid out. So you could technically maybe put those in the same. I was gonna ask. I was gonna ask. Could can yeah, that be one? All yeah, right, okay. that could be one. So yeah, the idea, planning it out. Um, two would probably be where I'm gonna film it, because mm. that's definitely a big thing for me. Where, when, um, and then three that's a good one. That's a good is one. Uh, lighting for sure. Mm. You know, what I mean, I feel like. It's not that big of a deal as people make it, but for me personally, how I like my content, I like it to the quality and the lighting to be very good. So I will put lighting at three, um, four. I would put uh, no three. Actually, I would put camera angle. The angle. The angle. Three. That's cra- that's 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 a good one. This is I would never thought of this. this yeah. Is good. The angle. Three is a camera angle, and then four is the lighting, and then five is the energy. Damn. It's funny because, like, uh, both of us, right, you can see some, just for the content creators out, out there, something consistent is we didn't really, or came last was the the quality of the camera. Because, mm-hmm. like, you can, and I feel like I, I wish people understood this, like, bro, you probably can make a viral video off an old camera as long as the as long as those five things are good. Yeah, because my most, my most viral video, or one of my most viral videos, I wasn't even going to post it because the quality of it was so low. Mm. But I posted it anyways, and it's at like 15 million on TikTok now, 10 million on YouTube. It blew up. So that's why, that's why, and how I learned that quality isn't as big as a deal, especially as the idea, the energy behind Facts. it. Yeah. It's, it's crazy because it's the same with um, kind of like music. Because like you, you, rec- you could record on your phone sometimes or? No, I don't record on my phone anymore. I, I go but you've to done that studio. before, right? Yeah. Like I, I see, uh, what's a guy named Lil, uh, what's the, Lil Tyler? Yeah. Like he made some of his hardest songs off the phone. Like, mm-hmm. uh, like it's kind of similar like that. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Because um, like I guess where that is for me now is like mixing and mastering. Mm. You know, making it sound professional, you know. Um, one of my biggest songs, uh, Loyalty. I didn't like the mixing and mastering, but it's still my second biggest song, and it's just because the energy and all that behind it. Damn. And the flow and everything about it, what I'm saying, maybe. So. Do you, uh, I ask this to like, I don't wanna say just artists coming up, but like, do you like the energy of the industry? Like, do you like what you what comes with it? Are you liking the people, how they treat you and things yeah, like that? Yeah, um, I'm definitely, I definitely like it. I, def- I know. It's a. It can be a pretty shicey industry sometimes. That's why I'm surprised that you like it. Like, yeah, yeah, but I feel like with the people I have around me and me myself, I can kind of see it whenever I meet the person, or I can see through people a little bit and kind of get that. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty knowing before I get myself too deep into a bad situation. Mm, I'm curious you because you you lit on, you lit on TikTok. That's like your biggest platform, right? Mm-hmm. But your other platform is Snapchat. That's crazy. 90 million a month. So Snapchat, then TikTok. But that, that adds to the question. That adds to the question. Because YouTube go crazy too, right? Mm-hmm. 
If you had to give me top your favorite platform, which one is it? My favorite platform right now is definitely Snapchat. Is it because you're getting the most views though? It's because it's different. I just started it like a month ago. It or not a month ago, like three months, four months ago. It's different for me because I was doing TikTok and Instagram and all that for the past two years now. So it's different. It's more of it shows more of who I am, mm. like just because I'm posting my daily life, you know, me working out, things of that sort. So, and then yeah, the the views are very good on it as well. I'm getting a lot of traction on there. So you signing because they paying you or no? You getting a Snapchat bag? I mean, it definitely pays pretty well, but that's not. <laughs> yeah, that's that's honestly not the reason. I said it's just what, different. What is Snapchat still. now, though? I feel like what is this like? It's like it, IG stories, right? What yeah, is Snapchat? I feel like everybody's moving on to it. It's just like um, yeah, it like you, just post. You really just post stories. You know, what we used to do on Snapchat all day. <laughs> what? <laughs> you, I might say, oh, but before that was a uh, uh, OnlyFans. And before all of that, it was Snapchat. Oh, God. We had private Snapchats make money off the private Snap. Like, just add to the private Snap. Like, it was Snapchat before OnlyFans. Mm. Did you know that? Uh, a little bit. I wasn't a part of it, but I heard about it. Boy, what? The, the Snapchat, you get what? They don't save no... Do they save videos now? Or they it, it don't save? Like, nothing save? Like, um, they can show you when a screenshot and all that? Oh, it's, yeah. Snapchat was a single man dream. No, y'all still don't be y'all, y'all don't be on Snapchat bullshit. Um, be a real no. So you don't get no hoes on Snapchat. Uh I mean I do, but I'm not saying I'm in private group chats and shit. I mean not private, but like they send you some videos and pictures because it, it disappeared. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Go okay, on. you got me, man. Right there. <laughs> what you want me to say, man? I get it. Yes, I see a little air on Snapchat. <laughs> Uh, What's your Snapchat name? Uh, official Lil Man J. All right, so Snapchat. I got is... the little, little, little verified badge. So okay, okay. Where well, you get verified on Snapchat? <laughs> oh, this is crazy. I'm too old now. Damn. I'm a... So can... it'd be very beneficial for your podcast. So if I get Snapchat, Snapchat, you give me like a shout out or something. How does it work? Uh, no. What? <laughs> and you, you that pop it? Damn. You don't want to share the platform? Is that crazy? <laughs> It's like that? <laughs> no, I was just saying the way you asked it. I can't get a shout out on Snapchat. Just straight up. Uh, well, I suppose I ask you like, I suppose like fake ask you like, nah, I'm a man. I'm a grown ass man. I'm going to ask you what I want. That's that industry shit you used to. See, people would like sneaking shit like that. Nah, I'm going to just ask you straight up. Like, uh, uh, It depends. For real? I'm curious. Nah, I'm curious. Yeah, why? Because yeah. I know Instagram people be stingy with posting things on that feed. I understand that because like my feed. Cause my Snapchat is kind of like personal to me. Mm. Yeah, I, I've I've never promoted a brand on there, so I'm not saying it's not coming. But I'm just saying right now it's kind of me. It's just you. So like you yeah. don't like you won't post like let's say a snippet of the interview. Or oh, I would probably and post like, a snippet. I was just saying, just shouting you out. And oh no, nah, that's kind of weird. Not like yeah, like posting no, my, my page would, like yo follow. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. I, nah, I, nah, I would nah. I would post the interview and be like. Can you add people on Snapchat? I would put, I'd probably put the link to the video. Yeah. Hey, y'all want to post this tomorrow? He said, nah, yeah. how many views he getting a day? <laughs> we posted that minute. <laughs> nah, damn, that's crazy. You can, like, add people on Snapchat, too? Like, put the yeah, ad? Yeah, the ad of, like, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I might have to get back on Snapchat. Nah, for real, I said, I think it would be a very good way to grow your podcast. Damn, you, uh, you think that's better than TikTok? Um... It depends how much of a name you already have. Snapchat's kind of hard to grow if you're not verified. Mm. Can I pay for that? <laughs> nah. <laughs> it's not no Instagram. It's not no Twitter, man. Like, nah. Can I pay for that? You just got to ha- know the right people. Oh, so like Ryan. He can get me, he, he can be verified. Yeah, maybe you can talk to him after, man. <laughs> Yo, no, I'm, try- I'm curious, bro. I- I run my old head, bro. I be just on Instagram. Like, people like, you need to post everywhere. Like, I don't be, like, I don't know. Yeah, you just got to get hip. I'm trying to get hip. That's why I ask you questions. You, you talking about posting. You're not asking questions. Nah, like, I'm, I might have to do Snapchat, bro. Nah, get on it. I'm telling you. So, everything. How, what's the what's the best way to grow on Snapchat, though? Like, on Instagram, you can go viral. Twitter, you can go viral. TikTok, you can go viral. Like, how do I go viral on Snapchat? Um, got to make a public profile. Like I said... Getting verified will allow you to get it on the Discover page. 
So honestly, starting out, what I would do is post post um, on Snapchat pretty often during the day. And then if you're not verified yet, you know, go on Instagram, put your Snapchat link on there, tell your, tell your fans to follow on at the end of your little clips on TikTok, tell them to follow. And then once you build a fan base, reach out to Snapchat, request verification. And then once you get a ver- verification, that's whenever you can really start growing on Snapchat. And then you just got to really... At that point, you build a fan base, so then you just post what they want to see. But are you verified on anything else? I'm verified on Instagram, uh, Snapchat, and I think... Instagram is not like the fourteen ninety nine thing. Is is like really verified, or you pay the fourteen ninety nine? Yeah, I got really verified. Okay, so it's probably easy for you to get verified on. Yo, pass my phone, bro, because I, I think I still got a Snapchat, bro. Let me check. <laughs> it probably was easy for you to get verified on Snapchat, bro. Come on, man. Like, are, is it easy for you to get verified if you verify someone else? Um, no. Sorry. You gotta kind of. Right, you want me verified? That's better than nothing. That's crazy, bro. Nah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm like I'm gonna get on that. I'm gonna tell everybody like little man Jay told me get on there. Mm-hmm. You like popular, so I'm trying to like get yeah. get hip for real. Get hip. All right, but appreciate you, bro. Got you, bro. I'm, I'm here to help. Nah, man. I, I I fuck with you, bro. This is a good interview. I, I like your style, man. Thank you. I like your energy, man. Like, Thank you. You're a good dude. I wish you nothing but the best, man. I hope hey, the likewise. Country, the country music shit. I don't really like that idea, but <laughs> like. Hopefully it goes does well. It'll, it'll do really well. I'm already know country music is like the best selling music right now, so it'll definitely do well. Country music is whack. Maybe for you. I like, I like country music. Carter likes country music. Ryan likes country music. That's three out of the seven people in here. Are you messing it up? Hold up. A little dirt. Hold like, up. Are you messing it up? I, I said that on purpose and I paused so maybe you could use this in, in one of your songs, right? So like, you know how to use it. Like, like country music is whack. He should do it. I said it on purpose so I can make a moment, man. Hold up. Okay, okay. You knew what he was doing. I'm going to put down a song tonight. Like country music is whack. I'm going to show this motherfucker. But nah, man. Uh, nah, for real. I do wish you um, nothing but success, for real. Like, I'll joke Like, I, I think yeah. this story is dope. I think just... People need to see people like you, and not just because of the the medical conditions, but because you have been through some things and you have persevered through it. I yes, feel sir. like there's so many like just fake stories and all this nonsense in the world, but it's people out here who really doing good and means well, and they winning, it, and you can win too. So, one hundred percent, I'm gonna win. For yes, sure. sir. For the people that don't know, tell them how to follow you, support everything that you got going man, on. Everything. All platforms, real little man J, Snapchat, official little man J. So that's how y'all can follow me and check out my new song, Popping Out, man. Yes, sir. Best Popping song Out. I've dropped so far. Shout out J Hill. My Hi guy. Me on the podcast, man. Much I'm, love. I'm looking up uh, Snapchat right now. Uh, little Man J, J Hill, Mr. J Hill Podcast. This is a wrap. We out. Good yes, shit, sir. man. That was great. Um, Hell I'm yeah. Really downloading Snapchat. Yeah, shit.